Hey everybody, some gadget guy here, and while our phones are shooting fantastic high quality video, many folks still struggle with improving their mobile audio. Legit audio manufacturers like Sennheiser and Apogee are now walking into this market with smartphone focused accessories, and today we're checking out the Clip Mic Digital for the iPhone. Walking around the hardware, we've got a very simple product to use. These clip on mics are called lavaliers, or LAVs for short, and can be used in a variety of situations. It looks like Sennheiser is taking their popular one. $150 ME2 lav and adding a digital interface which plugs into the iPhone's lightning port. That's what brings us to the $199 price point, adding portable digital hardware to a professional grade microphone. The whole chain is contained to one cable and it's pretty nicely shielded. Sennheiser's partnership with Apogee provides them a solid analog to digital converter and allows the iPhone to capture up to 24 bit 96 kilohertz audio. Apogee also supplies a pair of apps. Meta Recorder provides a pretty inter interface for recording audio and organizing multiple takes, and plugging in a clip mic will unlock the paid version, which is a nice little value add. Unfortunately, no editing tools though, so you'll need a different app if you need to cut while out in the field. There's also built-in Dropbox support to circumvent the iPhone's terrible file management. Managing files isn't nearly as convenient as it might be on Android or Windows Phone. Thankfully, the app does include XML files for folks who edit in Final Cut. You also get Apogee's Maestro Control app, but as I don't use Apogee recording hardware, I wasn't able to test that out. Included in the package is a metal alligator clip to attach the mic to clothing, and a small metal pop screen to protect the mic diaphragm from plosive P-pops of air or wind, though it obviously won't make the mic weatherproof. This is one of the few areas where Apple is still ahead of the tech curve. iOS handles USB audio hardware phenomenally well. Plugging the mic into an iPhone, it automatically replaces the mic in the iPhone for most situations and uses. Voice memos, video, and numerous apps dedicated towards recording recording and editing audio for iOS. No fuss, it's easier and more complete than the current USB audio implementation found on Android. The audio quality is on point for this style of microphone. Labs are tiny little diaphragms which are built to capitalize in a smaller footprint to move them closer to your subject. You wouldn't compare this to a more studio style microphone. Camera perspective audio sucks, for example, if you need to keep a little distance between you and whoever you're shooting video of. Pretty video isn't much fun to watch if you can't hear your subject. Now, labs are typically omnidirectional, which means they record all around you. They're not focused in a specific direction. We actually want that, though. It means we have more flexibility in how the lab is attached or hidden in clothing. And it is actually kind of nice to get a sense of what the environment sounds like around you while the main focus of the audio is on your subject. But if you still have any any concerns regarding quality or worth itness? I recorded all of the narration on this video using the Clip Mic Digital, and I think it handled the job just fine in my lightly treated office. Even taking this mic out into really challenging conditions, like you normally wouldn't expect to get really good audio while standing over a really windy freeway overpass. But this is a situation that labs help us out a little bit in moving the mic closer to your subject. Not having a boom mic that's few feet or yards away from your subject, it's a mic that's on your subject. And so this is one of those situations where we can radically improve even something as silly as doing a vlogging segment while standing over all of this traffic. Especially when we compare the output from Clip Mic Digital to the solutions that many of us are using right now with headphone headsets. You're just not going to be able to produce the type of high quality solution that Sennheiser has on a dedicated lavalier mic to the solution that we use for phone calls on our headphones. And it's actually pretty impressive to hear the results back from this video as the iPhone is doing a reasonably good job of enacting that automatic gain control, automatically changing the volume and sensitivity of the mic to match my voice coming off of this mic right here, as opposed to just instantly losing me in all of this surrounding noise. If I have a complaint with the clip mic is that the cable is kind of short. It's perfect for arm's length situations, just enough slack to keep the mic out of the shot. But if you have to run the cable through clothes, it's too short to really use while shooting video on your phone. Also, you will need to monitor your phone's battery since this uses the lightning connector. You won't be able to charge your phone while using the clip mic. The focus here is on the audio capture and it's a solid solution as a standalone mic and recorder combo. If your main focus is for a single channel audio feed, this provides a high quality solution which turns your phone into a handy portable recorder. You won't need to buy a $150 or more microphone and a deck to power it. At $200, Sennheiser is focusing on a fairly narrow range of audio issues, 
but they delivered a professional grade product to address them. I'll of course leave some links down below this video for more info on Clip Mike Digital and where you can shop this puppy online. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more reviews like these, and I would not be able to continue producing on this channel if you all weren't out there sharing my videos on social sites like Reddit, Facebook, Google+, and the Twitters. So please keep bringing more cool people to the party. Hit that thumbs up button, and I will catch you all on the next review.